Hello, welcome teachers. <laughs> good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. <laughs> Hope you feel well. Um, here we are today with our um, special guest. Yes. Mr. Chris, our accountant, ISL um, accountant. And we're here today to uh, produce some sort of a getting to know ISL um, staffs. Uh, in this episode, we'll get to know Mr. Chris, our accountant. Uh, thank you for um, uh, saying yes to our <laughs> invitation. <laughs> beautiful office, by yes, the way. beautiful office. Thank you very much. And that's the thing. Uh, we only get to see this office. Only I only get month. Yes. <laughs> Just only one time per month. <laughs> only one time per month. Right. Um, so, Mr. Chris, could you please? Tell us about yourself. You know, a lot of uh, teachers only know you once a month. <laughs> so yeah. please, take this time to um, tell okay. them who you really are. Okay. Uh, welcome again. I just want to uh, thank you, say thank you to you also, to this kind of good activity. All right. This kind of good course. Of course, it's uh, kind of encouraged for our teachers and for our staff also. Right. Thank you very much for your great job, first of all. Yeah, thank you. Thank and you. Uh, the second, let's start from you. Okay, yeah. I, came, <laughs> I came here uh, in, to ISL in 2019 right. as a accountant. And uh, before that, I worked in Thailand. Well, uh, there I was working in an LPG company, like uh, as a import and export uh, supervisor mm -hmm. and like we <clears throat> let's say uh, imported some products and sell them to abroad like kind of uh, some Asian countries mm -hmm. like Cambodia, Thailand, right. Bangladesh, these kind of countries and uh, during this time of course we got uh, many experiences and uh, I got a uh, how I can say, like, offer from school. Right. And then I want to get the experience mm -hmm. in education also. How's it going on, like, these kind of uh, systems. And then in 2019, I came to here and started here as a counter and still now continue my job. Well, uh, about me, many people can feel that, oh, this is strange guy can give my money. <laughs> Or kind of, oh, he would deduct a little bit of my money. <laughs> no, don't think that. <laughs> of course, we try to, uh, how I can say, encourage our uh, teachers. Right. Yeah, payment is uh, important, but I think the most important thing is education mm. for our children. Because, uh, well, parents and children and also teachers are all of us as a one family. Right. So, we want to be a part of it, mm -hmm. of course. Uh, but uh, some people can think that, oh, uh, money is more important. more important. But I don't think like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you mentioned something uh, very important. You, you say you were in the. Um, uh, you went in a different sector. Yeah, before. exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 How was the switch? Yeah. Well, how was the switch for me here is uh, I'm happy here more than really? before because my previous job was a lot of stress. Uh -huh. uh, like, more involved, yeah, right? because you uh, 70, 20, like 24 7, you have to work. Right. It is so. kind of uh, how I can say uh, running business. Uh -huh. Anytime clients can call you, like anytime they're disturbing, they don't care right. about you're sleeping or something, yeah, yeah, yeah. or you're resting. No, they call you every time and you have to, uh, like, yes, and you have to support everything that you can because it's a business. Like, uh -huh, uh -huh. if money coming, okay, that's good days. Mm -hmm, if mm -hmm. not coming, that's the bad days. Right. Right. Yeah, I can, like, you have to survive sometimes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I saw that uh, there, is, there was a day like uh, if there is no any sales, let's say, mm -hmm. if there is no any kind of clients or purchasing. So uh, on that time it's really hard and tough. Right. But uh, if the normal things are going on, then okay, then okay. you can survive. Okay. <laughs> uh -huh. You can get money. For right. example, in 2012, in 2000, 
2014, there was a really boom on that set. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But in 2018, 17, like 16, that was what really cost, suffering uh, time. Yeah. Yeah, because Brenda, you know, the crude oil prices uh, become like down, really. Mm -hmm. But uh, let's say 40 or 30 dollars something. Mm -hmm. That was the lowest price on that. Right. Time. And that's really tough times mm -hmm. for that. <laughs> Well, I'm moving to here, uh, let's say the challenges like before was not so big. Like, mm -hmm. Here's more peaceful. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because here, uh, in this education sector, let's say, uh, you communicate mm -hmm. with the people right. who understand what is the condition, wow. who are like, for example, in another sector, they are normal people. I mean, I don't uh, judge anyone, but yeah. you know, they just want to take care of money, mm -hmm. and they like sometimes they cannot uh, see the time that it is private time or uh, it is the, the time for your family. Professional yeah, person. yeah, professional. Mm -hmm. Then they just only uh, contact you, and they're taking care of business. I it is. See. It is the. Uh, the, the world of business, I, I respect yeah, that one right. also because in other way you cannot survive. True, true. Because there is a kind of racing on there. True. But here, uh, the difference is uh, different. Here, the people are uh, no, like, not so rushed, you mm -hmm. know, to get your know, money. And right. it is just only one time, like, one or two days per week. Yeah. Like, <laughs> <That's true. laughs> one or two days per month, that's a rush days. And yeah. other days, of course, there is also some kind of uh, problems here, like mm -hmm. let's say you have to submit the tax, right. you have to submit the salaries, mm -hmm. I mean, the, you have to keep in bookkeepings and right. I mean, of course, accounting is a really demanding sometimes, job. Uh, yeah, demanding job, right? demanding job and uh, it's sometimes many people say it is boring job, but <laughs> yeah, yeah, I completely agree with them because yeah. you have to only focus on your, like writing everything, and, yeah. for example, more my secretary is, she is every time when I ask her, she said, okay, what well, teacher, well, can you repeat it again? <laughs> because uh, in her mind, she focuses on numbers. Right. Yeah. I understand her because accounting is a kind of really, really boring, <laughs> but, but also really exacting. All right. So let me take you back. Uh, mm -hmm. What made you fall in love with accounting? What made you decide, okay, I want to study accounting well <laughs> accounting is a kind of well let me tell you before when i was also in universities also in high school i really like to work with numbers mm. and uh, well you know numbers are sometimes like uh, how i can say Magical. <laughs> they can you know, be. Yeah, they can be magical. Yeah. So, for me, like sometimes, like uh, for example, let's say percentages or yeah. some kind of range yeah. or kind of let's say minus pluses are really okay. interested for me, and okay. uh, that was the main issue, like the main how I can say the reason, the reason of why. choosing account. And another reason, of course, uh, I really like to count money. <laughs> <Let's say like that. laughs> but I, I ask that question because I hear a lot of students say uh, accounting, there's a lot of mathematics involved. How good do you have to be at math in order right. for you to succeed as an accountant? Mm -hmm. Well, you have to, first of all, let me tell you, you have to understand the big numbers. Mm -hmm. I mean, for example, more than millions, right. because uh, there is a, and you have to really clearly understand uh, how I can say the percentages, mm -hmm. and like whenever you saw the let's say chart or the numbers, like for example, let's say expenses or incomes mm -hmm. or costs or values or revenues, mm -hmm. you should understand how it's going on. What is it depends. You have to read the condition, you have ability to read the any kind of business condition with uh -huh. numbers. I see. Okay. Because uh, many people, 
let's say accounting is a kind of telling to the boss, mm -hmm. let's say, mm -hmm. telling to the boss how's the company is going yeah, on. Right, right, right. Is exactly. That, uh, after a few years, uh -huh. we'll go like higher or yes, yes, yes. we'll be bankrupt. Uh -huh. You have to know that. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And how you can analyze, of course, with numbers. Yes. Because you should know like how is going on, like incomes, mm -hmm. and what kind of things you have to pay, right. like your expenses. Right. And there is a kind of demands that you like. Uh, it's a kind of like equilibrium, let's mm -hmm. say. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. Yeah. So uh, that's the most important, and you have to understand really clearly uh, how the working numbers house how it works, mm -hmm. because uh, well numbers can tell you the real condition right, right, of, business, right, right. of business or any kind right, of business. Yeah, know your numbers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, on a more lighter side of things. <laughs> yeah. Um, tell us about your uh, your family. Uh, ah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, uh, I have three children. Yes. <laughs> I got married and I have three children right now. Two of them starting ISL. Yeah. I'm from Turkmenistan. Mm -hmm. I came to here from Turkmenistan. And, you know, it's one of the Central Asian countries. And, well, uh, let's say, I started in Bangkok. And came to here really knowing a little now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> and I'm really happy to be here well, because Lao people are really generous mm -hmm. and polite mm -hmm. and kind people. Mm -hmm. But here you have to be patient. Right, <laughs> that's right. <true>. Everywhere. Because <laughs> uh, here they have a kind of uh, word like. Sabai Sabai. Sabai Sabai. Or Chayanye. <laughs> right? You have to be calm. Yes, like, and patient. Yeah, you have, have to be patient. Even yeah. even if you are waiting in a traffic light. Right, you have to be, <laughs> have to be calm and patient. Yeah. Anywhere Very you go. Calm. <laughs> Very calm. Yeah, yeah. I, I really like because uh, in oh, that stress. time, yeah, <laughs> it is not make you stress. Right, that's <laughs> true, that's true. And uh, another thing is this month for. You, ah, you are Muslim, uh, ah, yes. this is Ramadan. Yes. Uh, how does that take a toll on your work? Yeah, especially when well, it's quite hot nowadays. Right. Yeah. Right. Yes. It's um, easy if you're doing it from home. Yeah. Well, uh, uh, tell us work. first what Ramadan is. Okay. Yeah. Let's start with it. Yeah. Ramadan is a kind of, uh, in our religion, uh, we have, uh, well, one month of Ramadan. It is kind of, a uh, month of fasting and helping people, mm -hmm. let's yeah. say, like shortly, in my opinion, right? Yeah. And yeah. on that time, what we do, of course, we are fasting, and during this fasting, what is the, like, goal of this Ramadan right. is kind of, uh, during this fasting time, you can understand how the poor people like, survive, how they're feeling when they are hungry, mm -hmm. and how they're, uh, let's say, patient when they are, feeling and surviving, like suffering mm. okay. uh, this, let's say, in that condition. Right. And you can clearly understand, because you feel how it's being hungry during the whole day, you know? Right. And uh, in this time, uh, many Muslim people, like, donate mm -hmm. to the poor people, yeah. and to the, like, uh, to the communities mm -hmm. or kind of, let's say, right. Right. that's yeah. a kind of, let's say, there is a, some organizations like uh, that help to communities or let's say help to the some poor countries. Yeah. Mm -hmm. On that time, many people it depends on their economical or financial condition. Yeah, yeah. yeah. they they donate something or they mm -hmm. invite invite people who are fasting like during right. that time right. to their homes. For mm -hmm. example, I also want to invite you if you are guys available. Sure. Well, sure. <laughs> yes, uh, for us, uh, Ramadan is a kind of month of, um, let's say, helping and uh, be friendly to everyone. Okay. Well, uh, during that time, for example, many people try to understand. Many of them are asking, why you are fasting so long? <laughs> mm -hmm. It is uh, in that fasting, we can understand how the, uh, we can feel the people mm -hmm. who are poor. Right. 
on that time we can really understand right, that, right. and that's why we, that's on why that time, know. like many people don't end. Right, right, right. Okay, we have to. Go. It helps you remain humble as well. Right. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And uh, there is a, some specific times uh, during this Ramadan for us very important because you know in our uh, holy book also in Quran they said like there is a, some nights yeah. which are well, how I can say uh, which are more important and more mm. I'd say, uh, maybe thousand times more important than normal days. Yes, yes, yes. Because uh, these uh, days is kind of like a bonus day. Mm -hmm, like mm -hmm. you, you can make a kind of, let's say, if you donate, example, like, like mm -hmm. if you donate like $100 mm -hmm. on, that e on that night or let's say on that time or during this Ramadan, it may like multiply it maybe to, mm -hmm. to hundreds or thousands of times. Right. Like according to your like... It means so much more. Yeah. Right, right. And uh, it's a kind of bonus... Uh, bonus month, let's say. <laughs> okay, all right, okay. Um, so how does it exactly happen? Like, what is the point of it? Like, during the day you are not allowed to eat or drink water, but before and after sundown... Yes. Or sun, sunrise and sundown, you yes. can eat, right? Well, uh, yes, before sunrise you have to eat like whatever you can eat, like mm -hmm. normally protein things like mm -hmm. that can keep you more uh, stable, stable on the, day. On the, on the, okay. during the day. Mm -hmm. And uh, when sundown, it's uh, like 6.30 p.m., mm -hmm. like 6.40 p.m., right. uh, you can, again, like during the sun time, like during, if there is a sun, you cannot eat. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it is, uh, of course, you can be thirsty or right. you can be hungry, yeah. uh -huh. but you have to be patient. Yes. It's a, uh, another meaning of Ramadan also, uh, kind of patience. Uh -huh. like, uh -huh. uh, you show like 50% of patience, basically. Right. 50% of patient is during Ramadan. Right. Uh, the remaining year, I'll say, <laughs> it's another. Right. Say. So, so how does this affect you on a day-to-day -day basis during the Ramadan? Well, uh, on the first and, let's say, on first and second day, it's a little makes oh. you headache, a right. little, you know, and you feel a little, how I can say, not so energetic like mm -hmm. before. Mm -hmm. But after third day, you, yeah, your body is already, I mean, uh, become ready to, to, to right. and let's say after that, it it's like, like, like a normal, normal day, right. it becomes like a normal day. For example, uh, we started on Saturday, right. Saturday yeah. and Sunday, it's more the headache days. <laughs> yeah. And then now, for me, right now, it's like a normal, normal day. day. Right. Even, even if I didn't eat anything or if I didn't drink anything, mm -hmm. like I can focus on my job mm -hmm. and more like, and sometimes it is uh, more valuable really? and okay. it gives you more results. <laughs> <laughs> That's wonderful. That's yeah. fine. Yeah. That's um, fine. How about by the end of Ramadan? How do you usually go back to your original uh, your routine in terms of you know eating? Well, uh, normally, let's say uh, three times per day. Like, but during Ramadan, just only. On the evening and in the morning, mm -hmm. can but after Ramadan, it takes uh, like one day something, and then your body is already become mm -hmm. like right. normal to. Okay. And during Ramadan, your body is also like how I can say there was uh, some researches also scientific researches mm -hmm. that your body becomes like more healthy on that time mm -hmm. because your stomach can rest a little bit uh -huh. uh, every day, every day working like yeah. a machine. It makes you sometimes, yeah. Right. So, you know, even even some machines or some kind of still needs some still rest, rest, right? some time to rest. Yeah. And this uh, Ramadan is kind of uh, like refreshing your body, you know, and uh, update. Updating the self care of your body. <laughs> oh, that's All nice. right. Yeah. Um, so let's move on now to the final part of the uh, the getting to know you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Family for. 
like mm. for me, family is number one. Every mm. time. It should right. be number one. Mm. Right. Because, yeah, work is work. Right, yeah. <laughs> family is family. Yes, right. so totally it's different. different. Yeah. Yeah. You have to spend and you have to separate some time for them right. also because, you know, they need some time. Mm. Even your children, like, every day they want to hug you, <laughs> yeah. you know, to play with you. <laughs> right, 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 right. And if work is stressful, you go back home. Yeah, decompress. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, right, right. Whenever, like, uh, on normal day, you yeah. work hard. So many people coming. Talking, yeah. Okay, numbers. Okay, no, I will not give you money. Okay, something like that. And you fighting every day. Yeah. And after that, you go home. Let's say just on your kid. Hello, dad. Everything for you. Yeah. 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 Everything you forget. Everything you forget. After hunting, okay. Yeah. Okay, I'm good now. It's good so, family is kind of a charge here. Yeah. <laughs> you need to recharge. Yeah, yeah. Alright, okay. Um, at least we know you. Yes, at least yeah. now so we know you more <laughs> than before. Right. So, I just want to uh, thank you for coming and uh, don't hesitate anytime. Like, don't uh, like. Please come. Yeah. Our door is open. Yeah. <laughs> to everyone. Sure. Yeah. Definitely. So uh, don't think like I'm angry man. No. <laughs> <laughs> I will try to be <laughs> as friendly as possible. Yeah, as friendly as as I can. So uh, I appreciate it that you come to here and well, thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you, you so much for, the for your for your, for your uh, really good job. Invitation. <laughs> so uh, I'm really appreciate it. All right, wonderful. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you for having us.